I like him. I think it is really beautiful. This struggling is proof of some wanting, some vision. A vision of paradise. He looks kind of beautiful in this position. I would love for him to stay here, crying in his garden. What a pretty garden! I believe in him. I believe he wants to believe. I feel safe when he is thinking. I like him when he is full of blood. <laughs> intentions and now he can feel anything anymore. I think it's time to make it real for him again. I want to make it real for him again. When I fill his house, he cannot hide himself. When I set his lawn on fire, he will have to shut up. He will only let go of his concepts when the water is flowing into his mouth. punch him into the real if he can't. I will burn insight into him, this silly war. Mm. Or he will become pointless. Like a very bad joke. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You can sit over there. <laughs> Tell me, why are you here? Well, uh, it's uh, actually my wife who sent me here. <laughs> okay. I have to say I trust my partner a lot, but I have quite some hesitations. Okay. You see, it's actually her who's ill. Okay. Not ill like going to the psychiatrist. A uh, psychoanalyst. Oh, sorry. No, no, I don't mean you. I, I know who you are. <laughs> It's, it's just, you see, she's actually ill in her body. She's ill in her body and not in her head, like me, apparently. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess your head, that, that's also your body, but you know what I mean, don't you? Uh, let's suppose not. Okay. 
Anyway, it's uh, her who's actually sick. It's cancer, which thinks that I'm not dealing with it very well, that it is triggering some things inside of me, some things from my past, some things that I should deal with. I mean... Okay. Okay. <laughs> I guess you know what I mean. You're the psychoanalyst here. Aren't you? Are you going to help me with this? Yes, what exactly? Well, well, the point is she died already once before. <laughs> and I don't mean that my wife's resurrected. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> that Jesus is a woman <laughs> and that she's my girlfriend. <laughs> well, her name is Jessica, so it does somehow relate to it. <laughs> no, no, I, I know that I'm not here to make stupid jokes. Or am I? <laughs> no, no, in short room. She died already before in the sense that my wife already died once before. It's not the same person, of course, it's another woman, but I mean, it's quite a long time ago, but yes, of course, that's difficult. It's also not exactly easy to talk about it with Jessica, since she and I, we were together not very long after my wife died. I mean, I guess I found that hard to deal with her death, falling in love with another woman. <sighs> Sorry, it's all so very not interesting, actually. <laughs> Feels like I'm summarizing the plot of some mediocre movie. <laughs> no worries. Okay. I mean, uh, I guess now that Jessica's dying and I'm reliving my life. Except not really, it's not really the same. I mean, now it's more complex because I already have my past, you know, my past in which my wife died. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm normally not so confused. You know, I, I, I'm an intellectual, you see? I'm a historian. I'm normally very concentrated and very accurate. I'm listening. To me, it doesn't matter what you are talking about. Mute! Inanimate! Nothing! Before I do any magic, I would like to have a round of applause for me, for you, for everybody that's here tonight. <laughs>